Hey guys, I'm Tom, the tech chap, and as you can see, I'm not in my normal studio. This isn't any ordinary studio, and actually this isn't any ordinary gaming laptop, but we'll come on to this. Firstly, I am in ASUS's new pre-built, super fancy studio, which actually anyone can come and use. I made a video about it, you can click at the top right if you wanna come and sit here yourself and make videos like this. But today, I wanna to talk to you about this. This is the new ROG Zephyrus M Thin and Light Gaming Notebook. This thing is an absolute beast. Not only is it a ridiculously thin and light laptop, it's less than 20 millimeters thick, weighs just over two kilograms, so you can chuck this in your backpack, you're not really gonna know it's there. It's a properly portable gaming machine, but there's no compromise on performance either, because inside this we have a full fat GTX 1070 graphics card, the latest eighth generation CPUs. We've got an i7 in here, so that's six cores, 12 threads, so whether you're gaming, you're video editing, you're working, whatever you wanna do, you've got all the power you need on tap. To go with that, we've got 16 gigs of RAM, a super fast 512 gigabyte SSD, and for all your games and all your videos and whatever else you wanna put on your laptop, a massive one terabyte SSHD to go with it. It's not often you get a gaming laptop that looks as good as this. It's stylish, it's not too loud and gamery like most gaming notebooks are. This is a stylish bit of kit which you could take to a LAN party, you could take to work, and it wouldn't look out of place. But before we get into the games and the actual performance of this thing, let me just give you a bit of a tour of the laptop. Starting with the back of this thing, I think it's a seriously good looking machine. You've got this brushed metal effect, this sort of two-tone contrast, and a backlit ROG logo. You've got four zone backlighting to the chiclet style keys. Ports wise, we've got pretty much everything you'd need, including three USB 3s, a full size HDMI, the power in, headphone and mic in, another USB, and of course a USB C Thunderbolt 3. And it's also got that really cool, unique Zephyrus design where if you open it up, you can see underneath the keyboard it lifts up a little bit. This gives it extra cooling and also gives you a slightly better angle for when you're typing or playing games. So the main differences between last year's Zephyrus and the new Zephyrus M here are the more traditional keyboard and touchpad layout. You may remember the last year that it was quite a unique design. They went with this sort of side-by-side -side keyboard and touchpad layout, which looked good, but if you were left-handed, it wasn't ideal. And well, a lot of people just wanted a more traditional layout. And that's what we've got here. We've also got eighth generation processors and a 1070 graphics card rather than the 1080 Max-Q, which was featured on last year's model. Now, performance-wise, we're expecting to see similar results between the proper full-fat 1070 in here and the slightly underclocked Max-Q 1080 on last year's Zephyrus. But the Zephyrus M has another trick up its sleeve. It's not all about raw performance, and that's because the display on this checks pretty much every box that a gamer would want. First of all, it's a 15.6 inch full HD IPS grade screen, which is great. But as well as that, we have a super high 144 Hertz refresh rate. So everything is smooth, whether you're just on the desktop or of course playing games. And just a three millisecond response time. So this is one of the best displays for any gaming laptop you can get right now. And because they stuck with a full HD resolution rather than going with say 4K, it means that with the 1070 inside here, you can get the high frame rates you need to really push and use that 144 Hertz refresh display. Just look how smooth that is, it's ridiculous. I'm only shooting this at 30 frames per second, so you're not really gonna be able to tell, but in person, the 144 Hertz refresh just makes everything feel ridiculously smooth. I think once you try this, you're not gonna be able to go back to a normal gaming laptop. Now, one of the issues with most gaming laptops is battery life. When you've got super powerful high-end specs like this, it's gonna drain the battery. But the Zephyrus M has a nifty little extra feature. In the game center mode, you can switch between discrete graphics and optimus mode. As it says on the tin, the discrete mode means you're using the proper dedicated graphics card, the 1070, which is great if you're at home and you've got access to power, but if you're on the train, you're traveling, you're away from the power, and maybe you want a little bit extra battery life, you can switch to optimus mode, which will automatically adjust between the 1070 and the graphics chip on the Intel processor, depending on what you're doing, so you get maximum performance or maximum battery life based on your usage. Switching does require a reboot, and if you are using in Optimus mode, you do then lose G-Sync on the screen, which isn't ideal, but it's great that you have that option. Now let's say you're at home, you're sitting down to a long gaming session, you've got your fancy new laptop here, 
and you want to get the most out of it. Well, what you can do is if you press the function key plus F5, you can actually change the fan mode. By default, it's in balanced. You can put it in silent if you want the fans to be uh, super quiet, or you can put it in overboost mode, which actually slightly overclocks the processor, but it means that when it detects you're doing something quite intensive, the fans will get loud essentially. But if you're gaming, you've got a headset on and you're you know, in the zone, it's not really a big deal. It's also a little bit cheaper than last year's Zephyrus, which you can still buy and has that slightly different, more unique touchpad and keyboard layout. So you can still buy that if you prefer, but if you wanna go with the 1070 and also perhaps you prefer the more traditional layout, then the Zephyrus M could be the perfect gaming laptop. But what do you reckon? Would you be tempted by the new Zephyrus M? Let me know what you think in the comments below and vote in the poll at the top right to let me know whether you'd consider buying one. So that's the Zephyrus M, but if you wanna find out more about this space I'm in, this awesome set where I'm filming this video, click on the top right to see my ASUS studio tour. Honestly, it's quite a good video. Go and watch that right now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time right here on The Tech Chat.